Hi everybody, it's Kevin of Bear Creek. Welcome to fall. I know I've been gone for a while, haven't done any videos. Uh, sort of hit a beekeeping wall, uh, just didn't really feel like doing it. Uh, any videos for a long time. Um, but I wanted to, uh, I came out earlier today and I, I uh, was doing some oxalic acid treatments now that it's gotten a little colder. Brood production has slowed to a crawl and uh, the bees are in a, it's not too awful cold, but bees are in a light cluster and there's, the bees are actually, you know, all in the hive. They're not doing much flying. So it was a good time to do some oxalic acid treatments on, on my hives here at the home apiary. And uh, I just, I, I came upon something that was unusual. Um, and I wanted to share it with you. This isn't anything spectacular, but if you've never run into it before, you know, maybe you'll, uh, you'll identify it. Uh, earlier this year, I had done a video um, where I captured a swarm and uh it took a little bit but i put the pieces together from a bob benny video uh where he was uh going around talking with queen breeders uh in florida area and you know that i captured the swarm uh from my ex-boss's uh yard and uh you know he he uh winters in in florida and i started putting the pieces together and when I caught the swarm, I identified the queen right away, uh, the species of queen that it was, which is uh, not typical for what I generally see. So I kind of wanted to share it with you. Um, you know, most of my hives, like I said, are, are, are put to bed here. I still have to do some winterizing. I got the, I got the shims on and whatnot, um, but... I still have to wrap the hives uh getting ready for winter but um you know i'm gonna uh, the the entrances i'm gonna open some of them up this is open far enough i don't need to open it anymore but i need to put some hardware cloth in there and whatnot but uh as i was going through you know doing the oxalic treatments i have you know different configurations of uh of entrances that's a little smaller i'll probably pull that out reduce it down and uh um have it about half the width of the um opening just for um for the winter that's probably more like the opening that i'll i'll go with uh, half open smaller the opening i found i didn't really have as good a luck uh bees piled up into the uh the entrance clogging it and uh, then the moisture started to build up within the hive because it had no way to ventilate um so i tried to to leave enough space so that doesn't happen but uh, as i was going through as again here's another one that's about the same the right size that i want I came upon this one and this is the hive that I had identified and uh, you know there's my uh, entrance reducer that I put in leaving probably um, you know four inches opening but when I stuck my uh, wand for the uh, oxalic acid treatment I saw something that was unusual and this is what I saw the bees had completely propolized the entrance, leaving small one, two, three, four openings in there for them to come in and out of. But they propolized the rest of it. Now that's a lot of propolis. For three quarter inch uh, high opening, four inches long. I've never seen that before in six years. Uh, you know, even this, this hive right here. You know, it's just a small entrance, but no propolis whatsoever. No propolis there. No propolis there. But this was the hive, the swarm hive that I had caught. Um, is doing really well, actually. But uh, I identified it. And can you identify the species just based on 
what you see here. And the reason that I identified it when I was uh, when I was transferring it into this big box, I realized I was my hands were getting extremely sticky with propolis, and no other hides are like that. And then I saw the queen, nice big dark queen, and uh, and then it hit me. These are Caucasian bees, right here. And the rest of my hives are uh, carniolan or Italian carniolan mix. Uh, and they do not propolize in anywhere near like a Caucasian does. And I just found that just extremely interesting. Why? I have no idea. But Bob Benny's video, uh, he was... Uh, um, he was interviewing um, Indian summer uh, apiaries down in Florida, and they were taking, they were breeding Bob Benny's uh, Caucasians and uh, his in artificially inseminated Caucasians from, um, oh, Sue Kobe. And uh, I assume that he was selling the remaining queens to other commercial breeders and my ex-boss was one of them because my ex-boss actually doesn't really care what he gets he just orders queens uh and what he gets is what he buys is queen cells and i think i don't know he pays like six seven dollars a piece for him or somewhere around there and uh, that's how he uh requeens his uh his hives with uh queen cells so uh, I caught the swarm out of my ex-boss's yard, and uh, sure enough, it was a Caucasian bee. So, I just wanted to share that with you. I thought it was really, really neat to share. Um, you know, I, I don't know the benefits uh, of uh, of the uh, uh, all the propolis, but, uh, you know... It'd be, it'd be an interesting to see how they winter. Uh, so far, they've done pretty good. Um, I don't believe I got any honey off this hive this year. Uh, oh, yeah, I did. I got I, I didn't get much, but I didn't get much off of any hives this year. Um, I got a little bit off of that hive. But anyways, just thought I'd share that with you. That, uh, you know... Keep your eye on something like this, and it might help you to identify the species of bee that it is. Happy beekeeping.